Talk six, contraception. I want to present you with three different scenarios. You're a healthcare professional working in a clinic, and a young woman of childbearing age comes in and asks to be prescribed a contraceptive. As a Catholic healthcare professional, what is the right thing to do in this situation? And then another scenario a young woman is having a lot of difficulty with her monthly cycles. And she's being told by her doctors that the only way to fix this problem is to go on hormonal supplementation. And then you have a young couple and they've just gotten married and they're just starting their lives together. They're moving into their new house. They're setting up their, their new lives, their finances. And the entire world is telling them to be smart about planning for their family. When we talk about contraception, we also have to talk about the purpose for the intimate union between the husband and a wife. Our church teaches us that there is a twofold purpose for a relationship between a husband and a wife. The first one is unitive. When God created man and women, he made them in his image. And since God is love, a man and a woman have a responsibility to communicate that love with each other. The second purpose is procreative. Psalm 127 verse 3 states that indeed, sons are a heritage from the Lord and the fruit of the womb is a reward. Are you really open to that procreative purpose of the intimate relationship between a husband and a wife? And our church teaches us that one, cannot be sacrificed for the intent of the other. So coming back to our scenarios, if you are a healthcare professional, you should feel comfortable where you're working to be able to say that you cannot do something because it goes against your beliefs. And coming back to the young girl who is being told that she has to take pills to control her cycle, your body was made with a beautiful purpose. And contraceptive methods also have their own side effects. When you go on hormonal supplementation, it puts your body at a greater risk for throwing blood clots, for weight gain, for mood swings, and even depression. And other methods like the IUD and the ring also come with the risk of infection and maybe even infertility as a result of it. And couples, you have been given a beautiful vocation. And by becoming parents, you're able to share the love of God with your children. So celebrate your marriage. And it's so ironic that there are so many people in the world today who are struggling without a child. And yet there are so many people who are working so hard to prevent that very thing from happening. May the love of God enter your hearts and may you be open to his love and let that love guide every decision that you make and may his glory radiate through you wherever you go. Amen. Hallelujah. This is Rajiko Dhanam from Christ Culture. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos and music, please subscribe to the channel. May God bless you. In Jesus' name, Amen.